Hello everybody, Mickey Griffith here with the Referral Institute. And my question for today is, what do you want your company to be known for in the end? What we're really talking about here is a legacy, right? So don't answer right away that question, what do you want to be known for? Great customer service, wonderful pies, <laughs> whatever that thing is. We're not talking about that kind of thing. We're talking about a legacy. What is it that you want to be known for? Do you want to be known as a pillar in the community? Do you want to be known as a hard worker? Do you want to be known as a friendly person, a generous person, something beyond just providing a great service or providing quality products. The more we have some intention about what legacy we want to leave, it'll really help tie into driving us every day for what we do and the quality of what we deliver. If I don't have any concern for what my legacy is going to be, how much do you think I'm really going to pour my heart into what I do? But if my legacy is top of mind and it's tied into my mission in life and it's tied into why I love what I do, then Imagine the kind of service that I'm going to perform. I'm always going to go above and beyond because the legacy that I'm trying to leave is going to be far greater than I can ever imagine by just doing the bare minimum. It's got to involve other people. It's got to involve leveraging your relationships with people and bringing them along with you. Does your legacy involve you being successful by bringing other people along and making them successful too. What are the details about your legacy that you want? Not just, hey, he's great, or hey, she was really nice. Okay, those are great things for people to say about you, but what's your legacy going to be? Do you have any detail about what your legacy is going to be? I think it's a good exercise. I'm Mickey Griffith with the Referral Institute.